have sold the bed across trainer after four years. This is its post-mortem. Why did I sell it? There are a few reasons. <laughs> First, I am a hopeless mechanic. I prefer to sell my dirt bikes before a lot of maintenance is needed. Second, although I had no bad experiences with my cross trainer, I was increasingly disillusioned with Beta as a brand. I have discussed this in other vids, so I won't go over this issue again. Third, I thought it was time to get a full-sized dirt bike. The Beta cross trainer is smaller than your typical dirt bike. For many riders, this is a great feature. It's lighter, the seat is lower, it's cheaper, it has less top end power, so the cross trainer lacks the aggression of the mainstream 300s. And it's very nimble in slow, gnarly terrain. Over the past 10 years, we have seen quite a few hybrid dirt bikes, which are a blend of trials and enduro. Most did not prove popular. Only the cross trainer proved popular and most of the other models no longer exist. Many owners love the Beta Cross Trainer, and they should. But it has to suit your riding style. It is simply not designed for faster riding. The moment you change into third gear, the Cross Trainer becomes twitchy, and it just gets worse the faster you go. The steering geometry favours slow riding, and the cheap suspension has less travel and isn't set up for aggressive riding. There are mods that can help reduce this twitchiness. I put a golden tyre fatty on the front wheel. This high profile tyre provides a bit more stability. I also had the suspension revalved. This helps a lot, but the Beta Cross Trainer simply does not inspire confidence as the speed increases. I have spent a year weighing up the pros and cons of keeping the cross trainer. It is brilliant in our hard enduro terrain, but the moment we hit more open tracks, the shortcomings are revealed. Whenever the guys hit the throttle on open trails, <laughs> I feel like I'm riding at my absolute limit if I try to keep up. Then later, the guys say they weren't even going that fast. Sigh. I recently bought the Sherco 300 SE so that I felt a lot safer on our faster tracks. Thankfully, it's also proving very capable in the hard enduro terrain. Yes, I can feel the extra weight when I need to lift the bike out of tough sections. But overall, it has been a great change <laughs> and suddenly it is easy to keep up with the other guys on faster tracks. A lot of riders buy a Beta Cross Trainer because of the cheaper price, but then they are disappointed when it doesn't perform like a full-sized <laughs> dirt bike. They spend money on suspension and engine mods, but then discover it still does not perform well at speed. It's important to realise the Cross Trainer is still a hybrid dirt bike. Sure, it's very close to a full enduro style, but the design is geared toward lower speeds. I created this graph a few years ago to illustrate this concept. I hope this video helps you to make a decision if you are interested in the Beta Cross Trainer. Ideally, a test ride will help you make the right decision too. I certainly enjoyed the little Beta over the past years.